Uh, as you can see, I've got all the paneling, wood, plywood paneling off of the sides. And remember this trailer's 10 years old. And so having all the paneling off the sides shows you where there've been problems for the last 10 years. I thought that this thing was built with one by one to box tubing. Nothing really told me that, I just assumed that, but that's an incorrect assumption. These are um, Z-type maybe, pieces of metal or a double L, I don't know how you'd describe it. And so it has a tab on this side for these to screw on, but then it's got a tab on the other side for the exterior to screw on. That being said, this one here and this one here, I had a toolbox mounted here, a large rolling toolbox, and it was anchored to the wall. And these two supports here, these two beams, studs, whatever you want to call them, um, buckled. And I'm having to straighten them back out. I think there's, there's, there's nothing I can't handle, but I didn't even know they were bent until we took off the interior. Obviously, it was too much pressure. And you got to keep that in mind when you're hanging cabinets and shelves on these walls that those are not one by one box tubing. <clears throat> the other issue is leaks. Now these were holes for the door hinges, or door, they are door holes for the door hinges, but this one here was leaking uh, rather severely, which is going to cause a rust and a rot problem later on. We also had the same problem on the side here where the door latch was. These two were leaking pretty badly. This one was leaking a little bit, but there's a lot of rust down here. And on the, the wood that was in here, there was a lot of rot at the bottom of it. So those are hidden problems. Along the base, this right here, this nose right here has got a leak, which will caulk it in and fill it up. But we had a pretty severe leak in this area. I'm assuming from right here, there's some rust right here, and uh, I can't understand why that's leaking there, but I'll look on the outside. But water was, let me find it, there it is. Water was literally dripping onto this, and you can see a lot of surface rust. And of course, it was getting all the way down to here, and there's a lot of rust there too. And I have a gap here, which I go outside and I looked and it looks like the trailer has hit something on that side and nicked it and bent the uh, metal. So I gotta go out there and reshape the diamond plate cover and fill in that gap there so it doesn't leak. These are things that you come across only when you've taken off the skin. We can go outside and look at, see where it's dinged on the outside. <clears throat> I have this thing's been setting up for a while, so it's pretty nasty. It's dirty. It needs to be washed. If you can see how this is buckled out here and here, it looks like it's taking a good shot right there. And this can be bent back out and reshaped. It's not that big of a deal. If you look on the other side of it, you'll see more of a natural curve to the metal. And this side's not leaking. Although I don't know why, because this part right here is kicked out. And so there's probably a hole there I just not seeing, and we'll fill it in, we'll caulk it up too. <clears throat> 